Jays. They start play tonight a half game ahead of Texas. No debate about who their best player is in his second year in the big leagues. Bobby Witt Jr. briefly last year. And now looks like he has solidified himself as the third baseman. Contend this year. But they also did not expect to threaten the all-time franchise. With this young organization. And obviously the organization is not young, but this team is young. And now in there with a slider for a strike. Three and one. The leadoff man Garcia has 20 steals in 25 attempts. And That's fourth in the big leagues. The 3 2 lined to short and Bo Bichette. So a hard hit ball, but the first down of the night is now Bobby Witt Jr. looks in the game today. Second overall pick back in 29 is stolen bases as he takes high ball one. And this is the guy that going forward. Got a piece of the slider to stay alive. As that fastball misses away, the Blue Jays just back off a full and outscored them 39 to 10 in the three games. So over the last, over that three game, fouled back, still two and two. Got a battle going on here. Bobby Witt has Bobby Witt Jr. and Bo Bichette. And a swing and a foul tip as he strikes him out. Two down. This outfield has played very well all season long. On the infield, Kevin Bishop makes his more often for Kansas City. Freddie Fermin is their catcher tonight. As often as they can. Spiked into the dirt, one and two. But Danny Jansen is a big loss, not only for his presence. One, two again, and a swing and a miss. Got him with a slider. Good right where he left off. Springer in the leadoff spot. Guerrero hitting third. York third major league game. Got a pretty good arm. He profiles as a reliever. Good sink. Results against righties than lefties in the big leagues this year. The opposite down in the minors. But they want to find out if he can be their everyday center fielder. Dyrone Blanco in right. And mentioned Sal Perez at first base, making his 19th start. Freddie Fermin behind the plate. As he bounces one out to second, in comes. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. swings at the first pitch. It's a one hop. Keep a set on the field for the rest of the season. Arden, thank you. And obviously, even when the Jays fate this year. I think one thing you have to do is you have to trust Bo. Bo Bichette. Fastball misses away. It's now a ball and two strikes on the Royals. Not been a strength of theirs this season. And they've actually struggled on both sides of the a lot of pitchers pitch in Denver and say, you know, I didn't. Going into Coors Field saying, you know what, breaking balls don't break here. Charlie Morton pitched out there the other day and said it. Ball one, a ball and two strikes on Nelson Velasquez. We have some breaking. They want him to pitch like Blue Jays, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Down <laughs> <laughs> on Velasquez, the DH for the Royals, who was picked up in a deal with the Cubs. The Cub. And a slider low, two and two. So there's good news and bad news. Again, nobody's gotten on base against him, but the pitch. That's the first time he'd walked that many since earlier in the season, way back on the 30th of May. He had 3 2 again. And he missed up and away, and there's his first walk of the night. A story for the Blue Jays here in 2023. And they have needed the output they have got. And a curveball down and in, two balls and a strike. He's done a pretty good job. Chase that one and he fouled it off two and two. And a fastball grounded to short. Bichette to Merrifield and on to first. Schneider has become a fan favorite in a very short period of time. It's OPS. That's a major into the right field corner and he'll add to that. Deets. Cabin Biggio. Slider is inside for ball one. Injured finger. One ball, one strike. Two and one. And, and now Biggio's on with a walk. Back to Snyder. The cover man is Lofton. And that's a Popped up. Freddie runs through the on deck area, and you got to be. One ball and two strikes. The center fielder in Arizona. Fouled it off of his foot.
Two and two. Foul tip and a strikeout. So the Blue Jays had two on with. Ball one on Nick Lofton. So isn't that ideal for an opener? Best nine hitters. On the ground to third and Biggio reaches far to his left. And Kikuchi really need at 39 pitches in the first two innings, even though he only fastball is in for a called third strike. Kikuchi. Tyrone Blanco with two down. Back up some. You get a better feel for the bat. It makes it That's interesting. He starts yeah. down at the handle, but is this gives to put the barrel on it. And then use those lick. Two and two. And that ball is gone in the third. You could tell when that. And that's also the Royals first lined out to short first time up had a good at bat. He got the count to three and two. One and two. It really puts a lot into it. Biggio. And got out of two on and nobody out in the second. Swing and miss if it is. And it's nice to see Ben May giving a few inches here and there off the dish. On the ground to third. And Garcia throw. Let the stuff work. Let it play. Is there? Freddy's on it. Ball one on George Springer. One and one. Marsh has alternated. And that's a bit deceiving because usually when you're talking starter and really no swing. Three balls, two strikes. Most times in that. Ooh, that's beautiful. At the knees. Low strike and and Kikuchi gets him again. It's on and off the field. The Royals nominee this year is on a one-two from Alex Cobb. Oh, he went down and got a breaking ball. His head down and he's open. Boy, 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 boy. Airport that day after a game in Kansas City. Steve Fiziox's and me and Fizz stood up at attention and we high-fived every one of them. Getting the series off. Yes. He's the Royals broadcaster at Wings On with the Storm Chasers. He does nice work. He's earned it. Against Snyder. One ball, two strikes, and then a little bit low. And he's got a he already had the 